Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing really well. So today I thought I would sit down and share what I got in New York. This wasn't a video idea that I had initially planned on filming, but I saw so many requests under my previous video, which was my vlog, my weekly vlog. And in that video, I shared my trip to New York and I mentioned that I had been shopping and so many of you guys asked to see what I got. So I thought I would film this video. I got quite a bit of skincare, some makeup items, both drugstore and high-end. And I also went into Chanel and got a beautiful pair of boots for the fall winter time that I'm loving. I'm looking at them right now and they're like beaming. They're like, ha! Ah. I was there for work. I had a collaboration with Cosmopolitan magazine, which is so exciting. And I actually think the stuff that we shot, it will be coming out very soon. So I will definitely let you guys know. But yeah, it was quite short, but I did manage to squeeze in a couple of hours of shopping. And all of these things I have been using for quite some time. So I can also give you a bit of a review on them. I hope that you guys enjoy. We have a lot of stuff to get through. So I'm just going to get started. So this first item that I got was actually something that I picked up at the airport in the duty-free and the tax-free area because this product is so expensive so if you do have your eye on a luxury skincare item wait till you travel and get it then because then you can save a little bit of money but this is the Sicily double tensor primer I've had my eye on this primer for months and I've been thinking about buying it but then I it's hard to justify the price but then when I was traveling I saw that they had this in the duty-free I thought okay let me get it save a little bit of money I I had very very high expectations of this because of all the hype that I had heard about it online and also the extremely high price tag but I do have to give credit to this because it is really good I have been using it now for several weeks I love how it makes my makeup look Sicily is more of a skincare brand so it does have very very good skincare ingredients in here so it will kind of work on your skin throughout the day as you are wearing it is it a product that I think everyone should go out and get no there are of course course you know other primers that kind of do the same thing but if you have been curious about trying this out and you do enjoy more luxurious makeup and skincare I would definitely say to give this a go it is really really good so moving on to some items I got from Sephora these are two cleansers both from Kate Somerville this brand does some really really great products that are very highly rated this first one here which is in a light pink color it is called the eradicate daily cleanser it says it's an acne treatment and this has sulfur in it. If you guys have been following my channel for some time, you'll know that I love the Peter Thomas Roth Sulfur Mask, which I also bought uh, a backup of because this is amazing. I'm going to talk about this in a second, but this has sulfur in it. So I saw that they had this cleanser with sulfur as well, and sulfur is an amazing ingredient. If you have acne prone skin, oily skin, just blemish prone skin it's a great ingredient to help to calm that down and it's very clarifying it's a very creamy cleanser so it feels really nice on the skin it does lather up a little bit and it doesn't smell too bad because sulfur stuff doesn't usually smell the best but this has a nice kind of light rosy scent to it so it's quite enjoyable to use as well in kate somerville they're very known for this cleanser right here this is the travel size version this is the exfoliate cleanser daily foaming wash this is one of their best selling products of their range and i have heard so many great things about this cleanser so i got the travel size of this because i actually needed to buy a cleanser that was small enough to put in a carry-on bag because when i travel i don't always take a big bag it's also a creamy cleanser it does foam up a little bit and it just leaves your skin feeling so clean but not overly dry or dehydrated or tight it's just the perfect little cleanser and I have been loving these two and then as I mentioned the Peter Thomas Roth sulfur mask this is an OG product I have been using this mask for years and years and years. It is called the Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. It has 10% sulfur in here. It also has purifying kaolin and bentonite clays. There's also some aloe vera in here, which is very soothing. There's also eucalyptus in here, so it smells quite fresh, even though the sulfur is there, like you can definitely smell the sulfur but the eucalyptus does balance that out a little bit. If you have problematic acne prone skin, oily skin, 
get this mask. It's a type of mask that you feel working right away. I put this on, I wash it off, I feel like my skin is less oily, it's more clear. I don't know what kind of magic potion or whatever is in this, but it works. Another mask that I bought, which surprisingly I really, really love, this is the Glam Glow Super Mud, which is kind of an iconic product. I think a lot of people know about this. It's another one of those really intensive masks that you just feel working right away. You really do see a big difference before and after you use this mask and that is what I want from face treatments and skincare and stuff. I want stuff to work and be effective. I just take a little old foundation brush and I make sure that it's clean of course and then I get some product and I will apply it all over my face. I prefer doing that than using my fingers because I feel like you use less product and it doesn't you know get stuck under your nails and stuff like that. What's cool is actually when you use this mask you can see where you have little blemishes and little oil you know spots on your face and it really does extract those areas I did also get a little bit of makeup from Sephora but a lot of it I actually ended up returning because I wasn't that happy with it but I will show you something that I really do like first so this is from a cosmetics it is the color correcting full coverage cream it has an SPF of 50 I've only used this once but when I did use it I was really really pleased with how my makeup looked and the only reason I have only used it once is because the color is just a little bit too light for me right now but I'm thinking now that summer is almost over I will probably get a little bit lighter so that is when I will use this but a CC cream does have lots of good skincare ingredients it's kind of like a moisturizer as well I did also get the Lancome stick foundation which I showed you guys in the vlog I think Lancome do some really really great products but for some reason that foundation just did not mesh very well with my skin I found that a lot of stick foundations can be quite difficult to really blend into the skin just because of the nature of the foundation it's a stick rather than a liquid the coverage was great but I noticed after a few hours that it started to separate a little bit and just didn't look as blended and flawless as some of the other foundations that I own. So I did end up returning that one. Another makeup item that I tried but I ended up returning was the new Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Concealer. Again, Bobbi Brown do some amazing products. I love their whole brand, but that concealer was just a little bit too dry in consistency for me. It was a bit difficult to blend out and I did notice a lot of um, creasing throughout the day. So I did have high hopes for that because it is a more full coverage concealer concealer but for my uh, skin type it just didn't work maybe it'll work great for some of you guys but I thought I would just let you know I did also find this at Sephora this is the milk makeup blurring stick or blur stick it looks like this on the inside so it kind of looks like a little deodorant stick it's actually very very cute this is a face primer that will really fill in your pores it's kind of like a solid version of the professional from benefit which I love but this is quite fun to use as well and when I do use this I just swipe it on right here um, on the side of my nose this is not something that I need on my entire face but just in specific areas, it does work really well. I also went to the Tarte offices when I was in New York, which you guys would have seen in the video as well. They are always so generous. They're so freaking sweet. They're just always so lovely. They stock me up on lots of great products and they're just good people. So I really do like Tarte as a brand. If you guys remember in that video, when I walked into the room, there was a table full of different products and they actually ended up giving me every single one of those items that were displayed on the table. So all the eyeshadow palettes, the new lip products, some really cute stuff from their holiday collection. I will be doing a giveaway on some of those products in an upcoming video. And I also have a giveaway for today, but not from Tarte. And something that I was super, super excited about were their concealers. These are called the Tarte Shape Tapes. They are a full coverage concealer. If you guys watch YouTube and Instagram videos and stuff, you guys would have probably seen these already. These have been so raved about and for a good reason. They are very full coverage. They have a more of a matte finish. If you guys know me, you know that I love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is pretty good. This comes quite close to that. I would say though that this has a more matte finish compared to the NARS one. Let's move on to some drugstore makeup because I found some really, really good stuff. I first want to talk about the lip color that I'm wearing today. These are the Amori Matte Lip Creams from 
from Milani Cosmetics. I got two shades. I also showed this in my vlog. And this shade right here is the one that I have been wearing pretty much every single day since I got it. I love this so much. The color is so pretty. It actually kind of looks a little bit like my top kind of matches with it. It's a very beautiful soft pink mauve color. It has something a little bit nude in there. It's not a shocking pink. It's still very very wearable. I always wear nude lipstick so it has been fun to just wear something a little bit different especially now in the summer. It gives your face a little bit more color. The formula is super super thin which I really like because you can just apply a slight layer and it will kind of look like a stain on your lips. It's not a very like lipsticky type of formula. It's very, very lightweight. I also really like the applicator because you can really get very close around your lip line. This is the other color that I got, which is also really nice. This is called Loved. It's in number 12. Also beautiful. It has more of a warm kind of orangey undertone. I think this will be great for fall time. The next thing is another huge hit from the drugstore. This is from Maybelline. It is the Master Chrome Highlight in this beautiful gold color. This is what I have on my cheeks today. I'm also wearing a little bit of it on my collarbone and on my shoulders. I love a nice golden warm highlight. Something that's super important for me when it comes to highlighters is that they look natural and that they look glowy and dewy and wet as opposed to glittery. The quality of this is just amazing. I am so obsessed with this. I think that this is just as good as the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight, which is a more high-end product. It's definitely more expensive than this. If you want a great dupe for that one, definitely try this out. Another amazing product from the drugstore is this foundation from Maybelline. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This was such a pleasant surprise. Again, I had heard great things about this foundation, but when it comes to foundations, I'm just so specific. What works with my skin, what doesn't break my skin out, what doesn't make it too oily or too dry. I would definitely say that this is my favorite drugstore foundation. I have worn this a lot since I got it. It definitely is more on the matte side, but it's not a flat matte. It has kind of more of a natural finish, so there is a little bit of like a, a skin-like glow in there. And next up I have this spray on legs from Sally Hansen. It's actually called the airbrush leg. So this is kind of like makeup for your body. I got these in a couple of shades. I got it in the deep glow and in the tan glow. I think that that's what it's called. But I was at the drugstore and I knew that I had a shoot the next day and I was going to be wearing this pair of shorts, kind of like a skirt short thing. So I thought I would give this a try for the shoot and I loved the way that it made my skin look. It literally does make them look airbrushed and perfected and if you have any scars or pigmentation it just kind of evens it out. I would say though to moisturize your skin with a normal moisturizer before you go in with this. So I would apply moisturizer all over my legs. I sprayed this kind of just on the center and then I rubbed it in with my hands and it did not transfer onto my clothes and it sat beautifully throughout the day. I also got some stuff that I know that I love that I've used for a long time. This is one of those things. This is from Crest. It is the 3D white strips. I'm not gonna lie, these are not the best for your teeth. They are quite intense and they can be a bit too much if you already have sensitive teeth or sensitive gums, but they do work. This is what I use to whiten my teeth. I do this maybe once a month. I put a strip on the upper, set of teeth and on the lower and I leave it on for about 30 minutes and it really does work. And then this is really cool. This is from Biore. It is the Deep Pore Cleansing Strips. This is a super, super old school product, but I never really got into these. I always thought like, does it really work? Is it kind of gimmicky? But I thought I would just try them out and see what happened. So basically you wet your nose or your forehead, wherever you're putting them. You put on a strip, you let it dry and like harden, and then you'll gently kind of peel off this strip and you will see small small little blackheads on this strip and you guys it's so cool I know it's kind of disgusting but 
I think it's really cool and it does work. So that's a very pleasant surprise if you guys have been thinking of trying these or you want something that will help to kind of cleanse the blackheads on your nose. I think we all have them. Um, then definitely give these a try. From Whole Foods, I got these two products. I also stocked up on some other supplements and like makeup wipes and stuff like that. But I thought I would share these two with you guys. The first one is from Alba Botanica. This is the Acne Dote Face and Body Scrub. This I've used many, many times before. It is quite intense though, so I only use this a couple of times per week. This has salicylic acid in it, which is great for acne prone, blemish prone, oily skin. This is another one of those skincare items that you immediately feel working and your skin just feels so good afterwards. And then I thought I would try this Jason Dry Spray Deodorant in the scent Soft Rose. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about this yet. I think I have to use it a few more times, but I do really like that this is more on the natural side. You have to be super careful with the deodorant that you use. A lot of them can have very toxic ingredients and it's very close to your breast tissue so you want to make sure that the products that you're using are more natural. This one is quite okay. I would love to know if you have any recommendations for me um, as far as natural deodorants. I went into Ricky's in New York and I saw that they had lots of Morphe stuff. I really love the colors in this palette. It's like a warm brown, lots of neutral colors. There are a few metallic ones in here as well which is great for just kind of over the lid to give a little bit of shine, a little bit of sparkle. But then you also have these beautiful mattes which is is perfect for like a neutral eye which is what I tend to do most of the time and this was quite affordable I think I paid around 20 for this or so and the quality is quite good they're very buttery very smooth to work with and very blendable I have really been enjoying this palette so those were all the makeup and skincare items that I got and now I want to share the very very exciting purchase from Chanel which are my new boots you guys probably know that I love Chanel so so much it is one of my favorite luxury brands and this is my first ever shoe purchase from Chanel so on my last day in New York I went down to the Chanel and Soho so I saw these boots and I it was love at first sight this is what they look like so they're a bit more of like a tougher kind of army boot style, but I love to pair things like this with more feminine, girly items. I like the contrast. Of course, they're in a black color, and then they have this really pretty kind of patent leather detail on the toe, and it has the little CC emblem right there. These little rings where the laces go through are so pretty. I love the detail. They're in this gold color and then they have tiny little pearls that go around it. So the details on these boots are so beautiful. I just cannot get enough. I'm obviously very, very excited about these boots. The quality is just amazing and I know I will have these boots for many, many years to come. So those were all the things that I got in New York. Now I want to turn it over to you guys and I want to give you some really cool. I will be doing a little giveaway today on these items. These are all brand new makeup products. The giveaway will be really easy to enter. It's going to take place on my Instagram. I'll talk a little bit more about how to enter in just a bit. So the first thing you'll be getting is this makeup case from Marc Jacobs. It comes with four beautiful brushes in here. You get five brushes in here actually. You have a large face brush, a foundation brush, and three eyeshadow brushes. And then you'll receive these two new palettes from Zoeva. They're from the Basic Moment collection, so all the colors are super neutral, very wearable. I love Zoeva products. The quality is amazing. So this is an eyeshadow palette, and then this is a cheek palette. So it has a blush, a highlight, and a beautiful kind of bronzer contour color. I'm also including these four liquid lipsticks from Too Faced. These are the Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipsticks. And then lastly, this Hula Light bronzer from Benefit. I love their original one. This one is just a little bit too light for my skin tone. So those are all the products I will be giving away in this giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and be following me on Instagram. And to submit your entry, you have to just leave a comment under this photo right here. It can be any comment that you like. You could say hello, you could tell me how your day is going, and that will count as your entry. I will have a 
link for the photo down below. So I think that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you can find me on my social media. I am on Instagram, of course, and Snapchat. Both of those are at Annie Jaffrey. I will also have links for those down below. And also, if you do want to be notified as soon as I post a new video, you can just hit the little notification bell right underneath this video and just make sure that you turn the notifications on and then hit save and then you will be notified as soon as I upload a new video so you can keep up to date. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having a really nice day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys!